you may not have much room, but I only have a three inch windowsill, guys, right here in this window. And I was challenged. I said, I'm going to create five different styles and looks of plants that actually grow, not just look good, grow. grow and in this three inches? Cell. Yes, and you can do it. And I used things around the house that I had, went to the dollar store, oh. and it didn't cost much money, but awesome. I want to show you some of the ideas that I have. Okay, well, it's a tiny space. Oh, so look tell us at what this. you've done here. I thought Aww. this is so cute. Okay, I'm calling this Spring is Coming. Oh, yeah. And the first one here, you see with the blue cobalt uh, container, like a little yeah. miniature window, yeah. window garden, and it's got yellow little pansies. I love that. Then look at the other ones. I just have tiny little three-inch terracotta pots with the same plant, but in different colors. That kind of gives unity. Nice. And to be whimsical, I just hung an acrylic uh, hummingbird, and when the sun hits it, oh, it looks so cute. So pretty. And next to it is a picket fence that I just <laughs> That's attached. That's adorable. Yeah, yeah. attached it with uh, museum wax. And then I just kind of uh, put some plants higher than others, and it looks like you have a little vignette. And uh, there's others, though. That's just yeah. the beginning. What about herbs? herbs. Can you what put herbs? herbs? Yeah. Absolutely, you could put herbs, especially if you have a window that faces south or west. Now, that's what uh -huh. you want to could consider uh, the different types of light that you may have in your house. Those windows are going to get the most sun. Perfect for herbs and what you see here. I've got this beautiful geranium in, in the side. Then in the middle, I actually have scented geraniums growing in water. Mm -hmm. And then I've got mint started and my little chives started for, you know, for the spring. Yeah. And look how well it fits together here, but it That's gets lovely. plenty of sun. Mm -hmm. But if you don't have a lot of sun. You can still have a window garden for maybe an eastern window or a northern window. Mm -hmm. And I've got some other uh, ideas here what for you. What plants would work okay. there? Ooh, look at this. Oh, these, these are, are air plants. What oh, I call God. this air plants and succulents. And one of the things that I liked is because Really, succulents and air plants, they don't need any soil. You or can add, any water. No, they, don't, they really don't. And <laughs> so <laughs> one of the things I have this floating on top of the window is something that I want to share with you here that I brought. All oh, that yeah. is from the dollar store. I'm going to turn it around. Oh, my so God. It's on soap day. Soap succulent. Oh, yeah. Oh that you gosh, can do the suction cup. And because this is lightweight because mm -hmm. it has no soil, you're able to put this right on your window and make it look like it's floating. They have different sizes. You know, like oh, that is such a it. clever yeah, idea. Yeah. I love yeah. that, and and you can just use pre repurposed bottles. I I use this pretty one, and I topped it with my air plant. And so there's all kinds of things you do. Mm -hmm. Now, what about tulips? You're telling me the oh, tulips are yes. going to live in the windowsill well, just like that? Here's the thing. I've got another design for you guys to enjoy here. Now, this I have cut flowers, which are my tulips. Mm -hmm. But what is really different is, if you notice, I have. These are two different vines, a pothos vine in the mm -hmm. purple and then a beautiful purple uh, Tradescantia vine on the other side. Now, typically, you wouldn't be able to put a vine, and I have one here, guys. See this? This is a vine in a big container. Yep. How is that going to fit on a three-inch It's not going to fit. Yeah. Okay, so here's the tip for you guys today. Go around your house, look for your vining indoor plants, and many of them can live and grow roots in water. So this here is nothing but a cutting from this plant. And I'm gonna show you how to take a cutting from a any of your uh, long-stemmed vines. Mm -hmm. uh, let me find one here with a nice, okay. What you wanna do is you wanna find a stem that has at least four leaves on it, and this one has it right on the tip. You can make it as long as you want, but let me show you where I'm gonna cut this. Oh, I just, well, I just yeah. cut it on, it not on purpose. Itself. Okay, huh. you see? where the leaf node comes mm -hmm. out, here's the leaf, there's a little bump here. Mm -hmm. What I want to do is I want to cut right below it. Can you guys see that? So it's right closer to the soil yes. side. Yes, okay. yes, exactly. So it's underneath where the leaf grows. Now I'm going to remove this leaf because it's going to be underwater. I don't want it to mm -hmm. rot. Mm -hmm. Now the reason why I cut it right here, this is where the growth hormone is of your plant, right where that leaf was. So that's where new roots are going to grow. Mm -hmm. And so all I'm going to do is I'm going to put it uh, in a bottle with water, filled with water, make sure that it reaches the water. And it could actually stay in this bottle for years yeah. and grow as a water plant. Yeah. Would it, would you cool. feed it anyway? Do you yes. To... As a matter of fact, you can feed it about maybe once every six months with a li little liquid water. Sure. Uh, with, what? No, liquid <laughs> fertilizer, yeah, fertilizer in water. <laughs> okay. But I'm even more excited about something else that I don't want to not say. Good. Okay, check this out. 
museum wax, uh -huh. which is clear like this, or just the museum hold. Mm -hmm. It's like a putty. So what you're uh -huh. gonna do is you're gonna take it, you're gonna put it underneath, but there's more. The most exciting application that I've discovered, and I'm gonna say I invented this because I haven't seen anybody else do it. I take a little stick like this. Let's say our window pane is uh -huh. right here. I'm gonna uh -huh. take my vine and I'm going to stick do it. it against the wall and I'm going to train it as a frame around my my beautiful That's window. Beautiful. That's awesome. So you can have cascading and growing vines in a Shirley, little bottle. And this doesn't you. damage anything. No, so take it fine. off. It's no way. Oh, Shirley, thank, thank you so, you so much. Thank you so very much. Awesome. Good stuff. Oh, yeah. Window sills will be happy. Yeah.